G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to War Thunder with Mags and today we'll be taking a look at the new HE-100D1. The HE-100 is a rank 2 battle rating 1.7 fighter of Germany with quite the interesting history. A pre-World War II design first flown in 1938, the HE-100 was for a short time the fastest single engine fighter in the world, but was never put into production with roughly only 19 prototypes produced. There is much to talk about with this amazing aircraft, but let's move on to its performance in game. For the purpose of this review, I'll be breaking the aircraft into three areas, flight performance, weapons performance, and overall combat performance. According to the stat card, the HE-100 can maintain a maximum level flight speed of 670 km per hour at 16,400 feet, or roughly 5,000 meters, making it the fastest aircraft at its battle rating. Now, I've never managed to achieve this level flight speed in a match at this altitude without a dive to boost the speed, however, I have managed to hit speeds of up to 600 km an hour in level flight, which is still higher than almost any aircraft in its battle rating range can manage. In a dive, however, the HE-100 is a whole other beast. The red line for the HE-100 comes on at around 780 km per hour, but I've managed to push the aircraft to 820 km an hour without ripping. In fact, I've never managed to rip the wings on the HE-100 in flight in any situation. Acceleration in a dive is also fantastic, being able to push from a stall to around 400 km per hour in less than 2,000 feet, or 610 meters. In a climb, the HE-100 is also a fantastic machine. The stack card reads at 3,265 feet a minute, or roughly 16.6 meters per second, which is mostly true, although it does vary between summer maps and winter snow maps. On summer maps, the aircraft is able to maintain this rate of climb only for a short period before the engine begins to overheat, requiring a brief cool-off period before continuing. On the winter maps, however, and the snowy maps, the HE-100 can maintain WEP at all times and will never overheat. On these maps, there is nothing at the HE-100's battle rating that can match its climb. Being able to almost catch bombers at their spawn altitude before travelling far enough across the map to spot the enemy. The stat card lists the level flight turn time at 20 seconds, and again, this is pretty correct. In practice, the HE-100 is slightly less manoeuvrable than the BF-109E1, with a lower but comparable combat turning performance and roll rate. However, it has much better elevation authority at speed, not suffering any major control stiffening until around 650 km per hour. Absolute stall speed for the HE-100 is around 110 km an hour, which is very low, low enough that carrier deck landing should be possible with little issue. Although on this point, I am yet to test it. Next up we have the weapons, and this is going to be really short. The HE-100 is armed with three 7.92mm MG-17 machine guns, with 500 rounds per gun, with two mounted in the wing roots, and a third firing through the propeller hub. That's it, no gun pods, no ordnance options. In gameplay turns, this is the trade-off for the HE-100's fantastic flight performance. Limited stopping power. The MG-17 fires a 7.92mm by 57 Mauser cartridge, with an average projectile mass of around 12 grams. The weight does vary based on ammo type. At a rate of 1,200 rounds per minute. Now this gives us a burst mass of 240 grams per second, or around 720 grams in total over the three guns, with an average projectile velocity of around 800 meters per second. This limited burst mass is compounded by a limited selection of belt options, all of which primarily use AP rounds, with a very limited selection of incendiaries mixed in. While more than sufficient to deal with the early biplanes that the HE-100 will encounter, in the fairly common max up tier battles that the HE-100 will find itself in due to being a rank 2 aircraft despite being only battle rating 1.7, along with the current rather tanky damage models in 1.65, this firepower is often insufficient to rapidly put down aircraft commonly encountered. Eliminating these commonly encountered aircraft, such as the Spitfire Hurricane Typhoon, the P-40 and the F-4U quickly, will often require a critical strike with my most personal common rapid kills being engine, pilot or elevator critters. Fires are also rare to trigger and although they are lethal, due to the limited number of incendiaries in the belts, getting a fire cannot be relied upon. Outside of these criticals, aircraft will almost always require multiple passes to achieve a kill. Thankfully, the superb flight characteristics of the HE-100 will almost always allow for this, as the HE-100 is easily able to perform with these fighters in terms of flight capability, and in many cases even outperforming them. Although you will often find yourself the king of assists, as teammates with higher firepower will come in to rapidly finish off damaged aircraft while you're still repositioning for your second or sometimes third pass. 
Dealing with bombers can also be an issue. Sunderlands and similarly tiered bombers are very commonly encountered and their extremely tanky airframes can often require a lot of sustained fire or many rapid passes due to the low damage output of your guns. This increases the time that you're exposed to defensive fire. This of course leads on to the damage model. The HE-100 is incredibly fragile. Any fire from any size weapon will almost always result in the yellowed sections of the damage model. Any impact to the engine will almost always result in a catastrophic engine failure, although not always immediately. Should you take any engine damage and your engine not fail immediately, I recommend you find and locate your runway as quickly as possible on the map and begin maneuvers to disengage and head home. The longest I've had an engine survive after taking critical damage was around about two minutes. With the aircraft being able to maintain full speed and not losing performance for around about the first minute of this time. This is usually more than enough to be able to cross the maps and get home on most of the maps the HE-100 will get in its matchmaking. So having said all of this, how do you fly it? Well the HE-100 is a boom and zoom style fighter, using its extreme speed and high energy retention in a climb to constantly stay on its targets, but outside of its targets guns. That being said, the engine performance will allow for some wicked high energy turns when needed, however take care not to allow your speed to drop so low, it will leave you extremely vulnerable. Speed is life in this aircraft. Head on should be avoided like the plague in this aircraft, it lacks both the firepower and the damage model to be effective in this kind of attack and honestly it doesn't need to. If you find yourself in a position of risk, use your superior speed, climb rate and high speed handling to simply disengage from the target, change location and re-engage at a point where you're both comfortable and have the advantage. Overall the HE-100 is a fantastic aircraft and incredibly fun to fly, although perhaps somewhat overpowered in a maximum down tier or even fighting at its own battle rating, commonly having to fight things like pea shooters and gladiators, biplanes that it can pull apart relatively easily and use its incredible flight performance to be able to easily avoid rendering itself almost immune from any kind of return fire. However in a maximum up tier it will require significantly more work to be able to kill efficiently and the aircraft that you are facing will have the capability of being able to catch you and cannon fire is absolutely devastating to this aircraft. It's also an incredibly interesting aircraft from a historical standpoint, one that I'm probably going to put on my shortlist to actually go over at some point later in the future. Anyways, ladies and gents, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you would like to see more and haven't already. And until next time, fly smart, fly safe, and I'll catch you in the skies.